So today I'm going to give you guys a quick guide on how to do sound effects with 11 Labs sound effects generator. This is something that was recently introduced. You can see if you look on the left hand side, you can see that along with speech, voices, projects and dubbing, you do have a new tab which says sound effects. So you just want to click sound effects and then you're going to be prompted with this page. And on this page, it's a really, really cool page and I'm going to teach you guys how to prompt. So essentially what we have is a sound effects generator. Now, one thing you need to understand is this is sound FX. It's not background music, it is sound effects. What does that mean? That means it's different from the soundtrack you can hear in various different videos. So for example, if a car is screeching, if cars are honking their horns, those are sound effects. But if you hear like a humming music or like a peaceful calming music, that is just background music. That's not what this is, just a quick uh, differentiator. So for this, essentially you can see right here that it, first of all, when you generate your sound effects, you are gonna have five different prompts right here. And you can hear all of them, and I'm gonna show you guys a prompt that I just used to generate something really cool. I use this prompt and I put the chaotic noise of a busy city street during rush hour complete with honking, horns, screeching tires and the chatter of pedestrians. One thing I would urge you to do is if you're not good at prompting right now, like if you struggle with this, go to another AI system. For example, I've used Claude here and I've said, can you generate a few sound effects prompts for my AI SFX generator, please? Now you could refine this by stating that, you know, you want it for a certain scenario. For example, if you're working on a video about aliens, you can say, can I get sound effects for an alien blaster? And it will write it out really nicely. And then essentially I'm going to uh, get this one here and I'm going to show you guys what that sounds like. So I'm going to paste this in and then I'm gonna click generate, and then five are going to come up, and then I'm gonna show you guys what those sound like. So always use an AI generator because it's just way better at your prompting. So you can see after a couple of seconds, around 20 to 25 seconds, we have five different generations. Now I'm gonna click play on this one. So this is the soft soothing sounds of a babbling brook winding through a peaceful forest with birds chirping and leaves rustling in the breeze. I'm gonna to listen to this one. I think that one sounds really, really good. Uh, and the thing is as well, is that if you um, don't actually write these properly, like if you don't write the prompts properly, what will happen is your prompts will be really, really small, small, like for example, two seconds or so. So that's why I urge you to write prompts like this. And that's why I say just use an AI system to do this for you. Some of these generations as you guys can hear are not going to be good. You can hear that that one just sounds really, really, really weird. That one actually does sound like a peaceful forest. And then this one sounds absolutely amazing. I really, really do like this one. And of course, button there if you just want to download that sound effect. Now, I want to show you guys a quick one that I did before. I did the chaotic. You can go over to the history tab here. So of course, you've got generate, then you've got history, the history tab right here. You can see the chaotic noise of a busy city street during rush hour, complete with honking horns, screeching tires, and the chatter of pedestrians. So we can play some of these, and you're going to hear that some of these are actually really, really good. You can hear that that sounds kind of like some New York City kind of vibes. That one actually sounds really, really good. Um, of course, this does like would actually sound a lot better if we'd have a video, you know, to pair it with, but this definitely does sound really cool. And then that one sounds really, really good as well. That does sound like a kind of city. Okay, then that one sounds super, super strange, super, super weird. But the point is, is that with the five different generations that you get, you can pick and choose which ones you do like because some of them are just gonna be absolutely awful. And then that one there, you can see it's definitely for like a bitty, busy, 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 very, very busy cityscape uh, with horns and everything like that. So that one is really, really cool. But yeah, I think this is something that's really, really cool. You can only do 300, uh, you know, characters in the box as well. So there's only 300 characters. Your quota is based, of course, on your different tiers. So if you have the most expensive tier, you'll have a much higher quota. But this is something that, like I said, Use an LLM to generate the prompts because they're going to be much more effective. And I can show you guys that with an example because the first time I put an F1 car pass by, you can see the generations here, you can listen to all of them. Like, what is that even? Like, what is that? That sounds awful. But uh, I'm sure if I put it into a different uh, prompt generator, it would sound a lot better. So just do that because that uh, is definitely something that is going to sound more effective. Uh, and if you do like the sound effects generator, let me know what you guys think. Uh, and I'll see you guys. And yeah, you can see that like when I put this actual insane prompt in you can hear how the f1 car sounds so if you're just putting some basic text in it's not going to work so make sure you put in a very very highly descriptive prompt because that is going to give you the very very best and like i said i just use an llm you can use gpt 3.5 you can use claude but it definitely makes a huge improvement